Hey guys, um, I'm here with a Walmart wax haul, sorry. So, um, I have to tell you guys, I am falling in love with Walmart wax. Um, I was not a Walmart shopper prior to this wax experience, but I've been to Walmart twice in like this year. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much, that's a big thing for me. So here we have lemon blueberry donuts. Yes, I fell for the hype. Look at how beautiful that picture is. Look at how beautiful this wax is. That color, that blue color. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to have like awesome lighting, guys. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, so when I smell this in the store, I've already told you guys, I am terrible at smelling things in the store. I don't even think this has anything to do with masks. I think I'm just not that great at it. Um, I don't think I smell the actual smell that I think I'm smelling. So sometimes lately, especially, I just gotta grab it and bring it home and smell it. Um, so I was like, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe in the store, it smells like cereal. It smells like straight cereal. When I got it home, I do smell the donut, but the fake blueberry is like those little blueberry muffins that come in the pack for kids. And then you like, there's like three or four in there. That's this blueberry. I'm hoping that when it warms, I get more of that donut. Cause I smell it, it's back there. But let's see, we'll see. Here is Marshmallow Krispies. Yes, I fell for the hype times two, times two. This one, I'm not mad about though because it smells exactly like what it says it is and it is awesome and will I need a backup I don't know we'll see when I melt it the first couple cubes I'll, I'll then decide if I need a backup honestly that's so good it might make it into my favorites and that's saying something I know I just said I bought a bunch of, of value size bars value pack bars but I'll show you those in a minute I just want to get through the small stuff this is white pumpkin sage I tried the white pumpkin at um Bath and Body Works love white pumpkin from bath and body works now i was like okay what else what what else can fill my nose with this white pumpkin greatness my shirts are always off um and this is awesome first of all how on trend is this packaging a white pumpkin you have a little i think they said it's sage but it doesn't look like sage um it looks like eucalyptus but you definitely get that like perfumey white pumpkin mixed with an herbal something. Again, not 100% convinced it's sage because I feel like sage would have given us like a more, um, what's the opposite of sweet? It's like, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. It's the opposite of sweet. I hate when people blank on YouTube videos, guys, because I'd be sitting there like knowing the word and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, you fill in the blank. It's not sweet. Savory. Savory. It's savory. Okay. There it goes. Now, for these value pack bars. Oh, this might also be a repurchase. Help me. <laughs> I'm just going. I am going off the deep end with this Walmart wax. It is just for the price. And I get a throw. And the throw lasts the 16 hours that I ask. What What else? So, I've been burning apples, apple, app, apples, apples, apples from Sensationals. Um, I got it at Ollie's. I don't think they sell it anymore. They might sell it and it might be seasonal, but they definitely don't sell it right now at Walmart. Love apple scents. So I had to go and get the Fresh Orchard uh, Apples Value Pack. This is literally the same fragrance. I let my husband smell it. He said that it smells like, just to show you the cubes, see how large in reference to an actual bar. He said it smells like literally if somebody stuck their nose on the inside of an apple. Like, and they, and he was like, how did they get the smell out of an apple? I don't know, but I love this. And I hear people talk a lot about their home signature scent. I could see this being the our home signature scent. I could also see this next bar being our home signature scent. Had to grab this in the value pack. And this is the cashmere amber. And I tell my husband man a couple years ago oh, a couple years ago that's an understatement so back in college victoria's secret made a laundry detergent i don't know if anybody remembers this but my roommate was a huge victoria's secret like she had a credit card in college for victoria's secret so she was big on it where i would just ride with her right i wouldn't buy anything i would just ride with her 
I got there and saw they had a laundry detergent, lost my mind and bought the laundry detergent twice. My broke self not only bought the laundry detergent, I bought the the dryer seat sheets, the laundry detergent itself at that time, back in like 2011 was $16. I was in college, had no business. This smells like that. It's like a laundry and it's like, it is, it's literally what it smells like. It, it says what, that's what I appreciate about these. This is cashmere and it is amber. Like it's a laundry and an amber mixed together. I'm an amber fan. I'm starting to come into being a laundry fan. Guys, this is possibly my house's signature scent. Literally year round, we'll be repurchasing multiple bars. Not a question about it. Not a question about repurchasing for that. I got another one of these vanilla cookie crunch. Haven't even started the other one. But just really like it. Um, it has these like weird wilts from traveling. If you can see that, yeah, you can see it. Um, however, don't care. Four, I think these are bars are $4, you know, for the price that the, the vendor wax is. It's kind of hard not to justify these, uh, value bars. Oh, my husband just came home. This is perfectly pine. I'm ahead of the game with the perfectly pine, but, um, during Christmas, Pine is like one of those scents that's like balsam and pine. I could just, it doesn't bother me to have that on and it'd be like a really plain pine. This is a really, really basic pine and it does not bother me. Um, I use a fake tree, so this will enhance the, <laughs> the, what's it called? The experience, the olfactory experience. It'll enhance the olfactory experience. This is fall and autumn fall into autumn sorry and this is like a manly wait no it's like a perfumey apple with a hint of spice but the spice is in the background so if you had notes in order it would be cologne then it would be apple then it would be the spice um why I got this in a value pack I don't know I could have gone small on this and this is definitely not a repurchase it's not one of those things that I'm like oh I hope it comes back next year meh could go without. This is Stormy Autumn Nights. And I think this is definitely one that I was like, I can't smell this. Like, I don't know what it smells like. I can't tell. So, vaguely, it smelled good. This, to me, smells like Kroger's Oak and Rye Paris Nights. Paris Nights or Paris Cafe. And similarly, the wax is literally this color. Here you have the signature Walmart smush, I'm going to call it. Um but it's this like basic blue like not basic blue navy blue lord um it is overly cologne though this is a one cuber because i will get a headache and it has nothing to do with the wax it has nothing to do with the fragrance the amount of fragrance i have i'm i'm pretty sensitive to um cologne scents and not so much perfumey scents which is really strange to me but when i use my paris nights by oak and rye i do have to one cube it and it lasts forever because of that so i'm expecting this to last well through next fall but yes these two are one cubes i don't know if you guys can hear my husband talking on the phone extra loud but last and not least oh actually not least but or not last this is lemon pumpkin shortbread okay so i smelled this in the store and was like what is with all these cereal smells thought it smelled like cereal right some people said, oh, it smells like orange buttercream. I have a value pack of the orange buttercream. Somebody stop me, please. This is awesome. After I brought it home, it started to grow on me. I smell that shortbread. Shortbread's in the back. And I smell the lemon and the pumpkin is the last note for sure. So it's lemon, it's shortbread, it's pumpkin their lemon is the scent that is making it smell like the cereal mixed with the shortbread because the shortbread is not like overly specific bakery of a shortbread it's just like a cereal bakery scent he is so loud okay sorry he's so loud but um anyways i love this picture because if you look close that is not a pumpkin that is a cookie i thought that was so clever and i like this but this also might not be a repurchase depending on how well that bakery comes through 
when it throws. We will see. But when I got home, I was glad I had this. I was glad I bought the value pack. Like, it was not anything that I was regretful of. So, look at these babies. I don't even think I can pick this up. Okay, let's see. That's a lot. It's a lot of value packs. Okay. So, and now, definitely last, we have a candle. Gotta tell you guys, these candles are 11 ounces, which I think Bath & Body Works is like 14 ounces. Um, they're so cheap, though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't love it. It's not... It's kind of hard to compete with Harry Slatkin, and this is the apple cider donut. It's kind of hard to compete. Like, I don't, I smell in other apple cider donuts, you smell less bakery. You smell more cider, which might be appealing to some people, but we'll burn it. I definitely can't say that this is going to be anywhere near my, like, oh my gosh, I, gotta, I can't live without it. Honestly, I've never met a candle at uh, Walmart that I felt like I couldn't live without, especially since they don't make the wax in the same like they don't make the candles in the same fragrances that they make the wax. Um, they do a couple of them, but some of them they don't. I did go ahead and smell the pumpkin apple while I'm there because I am a large pumpkin apple fan from Bath & Body Works. Nothing about it made me want to bring it home, but for some reason I enjoyed the wax. It's, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyways, I am filming this the same day I'm posting it, so I hope you guys enjoy your day today, Saturday. <sighs> It's overcast, but that's okay. Subscribe below. That's not gonna fix the overcast here, but it'll fix other things. I don't know, it won't fix anything. You know, just subscribe below, just subscribe. Go ahead.